All right. In the next, uh, in the adventure, hello guys. In the last part, we found Dragon Kazooie, and we're going to let's see. Stop doing that. We're going to find out what's at the end of this digger tunnel. Oh no, boss music! Holy crap, it's Krongo! He looks a little beat up. Oh no, not you again. Your horror mistress said Krongo must stop you or I get more beatings. We'll give you a beating too. No, Klungo wins this time, has new potion to try. Oh god, which one is it? I feel like last time he'd used the... What did he use last time? The split up potion? Ah, don't eat the glass, you fool. You're not fine, Klungo, now. But we will find you. Enter useless potion giveaway, Klungo position. Haha! -ha. Let's dance, bitch! Art! 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 Ow. Why can't I hold all these potions? Let's run in circles! You'll be fine! And that was it. Yeah, that one's a little much easier than the, the uh, multiply potion. Like, seriously, he didn't stand a chance. What you gonna say? Baron Bird beats poor Klungo again. It can't be good for your health, Klungo. Why not retire? No, Mistress needs me. Klungo, return for more beatings. Then work on new potion. And the last potion is gonna be even easier. I can't believe he even hit me. Okay. Ah! Ah! Dun dun dun! Da da da! Dragonborn! <laughs> okay. I just played a lot of Skyrim, so that's kind of on my mind. Because I bought the DLC for it. I don't know if anybody who watches my videos plays Skyrim. And oh my god, new jam jars move! They're all too big for you to hold a clockwork bomb that's remote control! And now we get one of the best things. Oh shit, I should have gone to the my him. Damn it. That'll be all. Yes, best. I forgot one thing, but I'll wait until I have more Cheeto pages before we do that. There is a... Um, the, the code room. I forgot to show that. Okay, one of these things is not like the other. Ow. Oh no. Now, um, like I was saying, I played a lot of Skyrim lately because I got the DLC for it and I'd already beaten the thing and had a level 75 character. And oh my god, I need to stop ranting. Ah, who's Rhoda? I should have saved that. I will use that at another point at a point that actually makes sense. Okay. So, three and a half minutes. Let's get started on the next world. We never need fire eggs ever again. Now this world, I'm not so sure how I feel about it. The first time I did this world, this world meant cool things to me. But subsequent playthroughs have told me that this world is... Rota! Subsequent playthroughs have shown me that this world is complicated. Complicated as balls. For instance, let me give you a, let me give you a tour. I don't even remember what's in here. Is this the train station? No, it's not the train station. This is the inside the mountain bit. Okay, go, Dragon Kazooie. Um... Hello! You know, you didn't need to fall off. I, I got it! Basically, move it around and blow it up. Thank you. But I can't do that correctly. I can get past this guy. Ah, god damn it. You will never get DA from Rock Nuts Tribe. We got big tough armor and rock hard nuts. God okay. So the trick here is to learn to aim. Cause if you can aim 
Yes! Also, the rock nuts have not mastered the art of covering their ass. Or turning around. Ah! Arg! Not fair! Found gap in armor! Others not so easy. Still the four of us left. What's over here? This perplexes me. Okay, so we're already on our way to getting one jiggy. From Rock Nuts Tribe. Oh, I guess that's if you need clockwork eggs. Which I do. Okay. So now that we have that, which really all we did was one-fifth of one jiggy. I hear you whistling. Shut up. Okay, so this world and I don't really get along. I believe this world is fairly popular. Either it's popular or people don't like it. That's a popular opinion. Because, oh god, Stegosaurus! How many times did I think I would be saying that? Also, that kills him in one hit. I shouted him to... I shouted him apart, just like a specific Stormcloak character. Let's see. I should stop making those references. Because of people in my LP that probably haven't played... Skyrim, or don't give a shit. Like, they probably shouldn't. Oh well. Let's see, can I get things like this with the clockworks? I remember them being extremely goddammit. You know what, I'm gonna stop doing that. I feel like that is a waste of my time and your time, and my time is very... Ah, oh, man. Damn you! Hold on, I remember there being a thing. Fly, Dragon Kazooie, fly! Yes! Alright, the last red Jinjo is down there. Ree! Ree! Bam! The red Jinjo family is complete! They'd like you to have this. Okay. Hold on just a minute. What's up here? Okay, wait, wait. First part and we got... Deezy. Okay, hold up. I forget where this goes. But I don't remember it going anywhere particularly useful. Or did it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, River Passage. Okay, we do need to be here. I just cannot remember if... how badly we want to be here. Hello! That was easy. Okay, now that we have that, let's work on, you know, getting back over there. Because, see, we do want to be in here. For many specific reasons. The least of not the witch being that Banjo need move. And have move in here for Banjo that, when I was growing up, was always difficult to get. Notes! I see notes. Do you see notes? Oh god, heels! So many heels! Heel! Oh, there's three in here? Oh! Did I... Oh, I have 500 notes now. Jeez. Um, did I mention... There it is. There's the move. All I have to do is find the Styracosaurus pads. I mean, the split-up pads. Ah. Uh... Now, let's see. Did I mention that I have a... I recently found my player's guide that I had for this game. Because, see, when I, was, when I was growing up, I used to always get the player's guides with games just because I thought they were pretty. And if I really needed to find something, I could use them. Well, I would... By always, I mean some of the time. But this was a game in particular that I got one for because, well... The official Nintendo Power guides that they made back in the day... I don't know if they still make them today. I have no idea. I think Prima is the only one that's making guides nowadays. But the official Nintendo Power guides were ridiculously awesome and looking and very, very pretty back in the day. I don't know how many of you have picked them up before, but... If you know what I'm talking about, you'll probably agree that they're really cool looking. And it just felt nice to me to actually have them. Alright, time to get Banjo a nice, nice move. 
Oh god! Son of a diddly! Okay. Ah. God damn it. Okay. This part was always very, very irritating to me. Because it just. You know, which just stuff. It's just not worth all the effort. Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Hop. Oh, oh god. Drop. Okay. Hello. Give me my move. Now. No kazooie means space in your pack, and a way to fill is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground, and they go and carry them around. Oh. That'll be all. It's missed, you maggot. Okay. Cool. We now have the taxi pack. We can put things in Banjo's bag and move them around. That is extremely useful, and that is the key to getting a few of the jiggies we're missing. And several down the line. Like, I mean, a great tuitous amount of jiggies. Also, I'd like to point out that this is when the game gets really long. Like, this world, from, from this world on, the game is a little longer. The first four worlds are nice and simple, and then it's just like, punches you in the face with, guess what? Guess who made this game? Rareware made this game. Yep, they did. Ugh. And I love them for it. Ugh. Okay. So. We're going to move on. Because we are now... We've been in Pterodactyl Land. Shut up. Okay. So now that we're here, and now that we have the taxi pack, let's see, over there is something we can't get. That'll be the last jiggy we get in this world, and we won't be able to do it here. Um... Oh, 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 I see. Do you see what I see? Because I do. I see what I see. Because if I didn't see what I see, then I don't know what I would be seeing. But, I'm sure whatever it is would be interesting. Okay. So down there is a little passageway. Go, clockwork thing, go! This ability is just as amazing as I thought it was. Ah! Arg! I'll go shape of the bear! What does that mean? I just... I've always... Since they said that, I've always wondered what it meant, but I've never, like, figured it out. Now, is there anything in this water? It feels like there should be something in this water. Because there's trilobite. No. Mollusk? Mollusks are a type of... Trilobite? At least I think so. I'm not one who's that savvy on his marine biology and ancient marine biology, but... Just... Silence! Okay. So, we're not finding that right now. We have killed two rock nuts, and we have gotten one ability for Banjo. What time is it? Okay, ah, God, all right. Okay, we're at about 14 minutes. I think this is a good, uh, good enough for the first part. We got the one ability I was dreading getting. And we, um, have that for God. Pterodactyls, I'll tear you apart. You are tearing me apart, Dactyl. All right, so. In the next part, we will explore the rest of Pterodactyl Land, or some of it, at least. See you guys then! Alright!